Good afternoon, Titans. Today is Friday, October 26th, and you're watching Centen News. I'm Moses Rillas. And I'm Reggie Abouid. Two weeks ago, we had our annual homecoming. Here are some highlights. Homecoming 2018 was a blast with many students attending the annual dance. Waves of couples and groups entered through Centennial's auditorium doors, handing in their tickets and making their way towards the dance hall that was located in the cafeteria. A DJ was stationed at the end, along with a few decorative items fitting the New York theme chosen for this year. Snack bar stations were located near the gym doors with plenty of food and drinks if students wanted to take a break from the loud music and dancing. Snow cones were also available if partygoers wanted to literally cool down, coming with many delicious flavors to choose from. Furthermore, there was a photo booth with props in case students wanted to take pictures anytime during the dance. The night went on smoothly with many partying like it was their last day on earth, not to mention the amount of Fortnite dances used by several students over the course of three hours. The partying continued until a certain couple had their chance to take the spotlight. Homecoming King and Queen, Matt Green and Macy Fritz had their dance in the middle of a large surrounding crowd, with many, if not all, cheering for the two. The dance progressed over the evening, leaving many sweaty and tired, but at the very least happy and entertained. There is no doubt students will be looking forward to next year's homecoming. Reporting for Centen News, I'm Michelle Ibanez. On October 11th, the varsity team defeated Liberty 42-21 at the homecoming game. Congratulations to our 2018 King Matt Green and Queen Macy Fritz. Have you ever had an opinion that needed to be said? Have you ever needed to say something but you didn't know who to say it to? Laith talks to people who have different opinions and puts them against each other to debate and let their feelings out. This week's debate is about Chick-fil-A. I hate Chick-fil-A because Chick-fil-A is garbage. That, like, it, it's so juicy, you know, it, it covers like, you know, how it's not open on Sunday. Have you been to KFC? KFC, bro, the chicken is garbage. Nah, nah. Yes, bro, the hey, chicken is garbage. Hey, we open Sunday, Monday, any day, bro. But KFC chicken is like, you got, the, like, they found that chicken on the side of the street. People it's who just... It's for people that no, have a good taste in chicken. No. Yes. No. Yeah. See, have you been to McDonald's? Uh, $20 piece? No. Mm, yeah. That's juicy. And it's can like you go to it after church? No. Nope. Well, who who would want to go to KFC after church? Everyone, no one. Everyone. No one. Everyone at my no. church wants to. I'm not trying to say nothing about Ch Chick Fil A, but it's pretty garbage. And I'm not trying to say anything bad about Chick Fil A, but you're not open on Sunday. Your food is garbage. Chick Fil A sauce is garbage. That's coming from you, the person that likes KFC. I got people. KFC you know, my is people, disgusting. Nah, nah. My KFC's people, not even real chicken. My it's people like agree. My people agree, bro. And cut. Halloween is next Wednesday, which means it's time to dust off your screaming pants and watch your favorite scary movie. Amanda Tolkov has more on some of our Titans' favorite horror films. Hey Titans, with Halloween right around the corner, I only have one question. What is your favorite scary movie? Favorite scary movie is probably Coraline, just because it's not really scary. Because uh, it's not really like a horror horror movie. It freaked me out when I was little, but not anymore. So. Just the ending scene. It's really <laughs> <laughs> My favorite scary movie is the alien movies. Because, you know, like, there's big monsters and, like, people get, like, eaten. 
And like, I don't know, it's just a good movie. It's old, but it's good. Um, I liked it because uh, they really, they didn't use CGI like they use nowadays. It was all props and like, <laughs> <laughs> Well, my favorite scary movie would have to be a very recent one. Uh, I don't know if it's exactly classified as a horror. It's called Venom. Um, I love this movie so much because it adds not only horror, but also aspects like the, the classic humor uh, aspects of Marvel. Uh, and it's just really fun. Um, probably the scene where uh, the main character, Eddie, is... Oh, jeez! Oh, <laughs> My favorite scary movie is probably Coraline, because I don't like their weird button eyes. It just... Mm, no. Um, I actually really don't. I like getting scared by it because it gives me nightmares, and I have post-traumatic stress disorder from it. Uh, yeah, I like when the little cat comes yeah. along. Oh my god, okay, let's calm down. Oh, okay. Well, I love scary movies, but if I have to choose one, would be Rosemary's Baby. It's, it's, I think it's in the 70s. It's a classic. It's uh, not only scary, it's creepy, and it's kind of like a psych psychological thriller. Uh, it keeps you guessing the whole movie. You don't know what's going on till the end, and it's super creepy. Okay, why do you like this? Oh, stop it! <laughs> <laughs> Reporting for Sun 10 News, this is Amanda Tolkov and Ghostface. Another fun activity you can do this Halloween is pumpkin carving. Max and Austin have more info on how to perfectly carve a pumpkin. It's getting close to Halloween, and a good Halloween tradition is... Wearing costumes? No. It's actually... Getting free candy? No, it's actually... Scaring little children? Let me talk! Thank you. A good Halloween tradition is... Carving pumpkins, silly. Due to the lack of time, I'll use magic to give you a pumpkin. Magic! First, what you want to do is cut a hole from the top part of the pumpkin. Second, what you need to do is take all the guts out of the pumpkin and make sure no guts are left. Third, what you want to do is carve a picture. It can be anything, your imagination is your limit. Once you've finished, you can put a candle in it and put the top back on. Now you have a brand new jack-o'-lantern. Happy Halloween, Centennial! Our Titan Theater crew is back and better than ever. Newsies debuts November 1st, but what's it all about? Bailey has more. Theater is putting together the production of the musical Newsies. Leonardo Gonzalez, the leading role, didn't even know he could sing before auditioning. It's about the Newsies strike of uh, 1890 where all the Newsy boys got together to strike and demand like better rights for them and uh, a place at the table, let's say. So my role is, uh, his name is Jack Kelly, he's the lead role. Um, he basically is the leader of the strike, he gets everybody together, he, he has some troubles in between the story. I love the story in general, I love the character. So he's, he's like really energetic, I love to boss people around as well. Before auditioning, Gonzalez had never sung in public before. Most of my friends told me about it, they were like, you should audition for it, because every, everybody was just like, you're a good singer. I was like, I'm not a good singer. So <clears throat> they got me into it. I was like, okay, I'm just going to audition. If I don't get it, it's fine. So yeah. No, it's my first year singing, um, and it's, it's been great. Has voice coaches, Dewani and Zami, who have helped him learn to sing in such a short amount of time. They've helped so much. They really coached me to literally everything, and it's been a great help. Yeah. You can come see Newsies on November 1st and November 3rd at 7 p.m. Um, Art Club is a fun after-school uh, club. We get together twice a month, every other Thursday, and B120. And we do a lot of hands-on things. We've done a fluid pouring class. We have gone to actually make and screen print our t-shirts. Um, I try and incorporate um, outside elements so we can actually see jobs that um, are relevant in the art world, um, but also to um, experience things inside the classroom too, just different types of artwork that 
that we might not get to do in a normal class. We are also doing um, the memory project where we've been sent photos of, of children who are in less fortunate areas and we're going to actually sketch their portraits and um, we'll actually get to see a video of them being sent to them which is super cool. Really, really fun stuff. In order to plan the perfect Halloween party, you need the perfect food. Here's Caroline and Amanda with more. Today we will be making melted witch brownies that you can make as a fun dessert to eat at home or bring to a Halloween party. For the brownie recipe, you will need brownie mix, water, eggs, vegetable oil, vanilla icing, food coloring, cookies, and Hershey Kisses. First, we will start by putting orange icing into a bag to pipe the icing on the chocolate side of the cookies. Then press a Hershey Kiss onto the icing to complete the witch's hat. Next, follow the directions on the brownie mix box to make your brownies. To complete the brownies, you will need to melt the vanilla icing by putting icing in the microwave for 30 seconds. Add a few drops of green food coloring to the icing. Then you will spoon the icing onto the brownie, letting the icing drip over the brownie. The final step is putting the witch's hat on top of the brownie and now you have completed your melted witch brownies. Next, we will be making green goblin punch, which is a fun drink to sip on during the Halloween season. For the goblin punch, you will need apple juice, seltzer water, corn syrup, sprinkles, and jello. For the green goblin punch, combine apple juice and seltzer water into a pitcher and put in the fridge to cool. Next, dunk the rims of your glasses into the corn syrup, shaking off any excess syrup. Place the rims of the glasses into the sprinkles and then put the glasses upside down on wax paper. Put the glasses in the refrigerator. When ready to serve, put spoonfuls of jello into the glasses and fill with the apple juice and seltzer water mixture. With Centen News, this has been Amanda Rodriguez. The Gary Burns Fun Run is coming up. Here's Eric with more. Hey guys, the Frisco Education Foundation fundraiser is to host more than 6,000 runners, walkers, and volunteers participating at the Gary Burns Fun Run at the Toyota Stadium. The One Mile Fun Run slash Walk and 5K Certified Race is the largest fundraiser of the year. David. I'm Brian. I'm Jessica. And Shank is behind the camera. Together we have started the Past Pink Initiative as a new approach to breast cancer awareness. Even though it is one of the most widely known cancers, it has gone to the point where breast cancer awareness has become solely associated with the color pink and is nothing more. Our motive is to go beyond that association and prioritize the people and families affected by this debilitating disease. To spread this message, we have designed t-shirts for students, families, and teachers to buy. All profits from the shirt will go toward National Breast Cancer Foundation. We hope to see you wearing these shirts around the school and especially at the Breast Cancer Awareness Game on October 26. The shirts will be $15 each, but that also includes a free pin, free card, and an entrance into a raffle for gift cards throughout restaurants in Frisco. You can pre-order these shirts through the link on the slide by Sunday, October 7th. Make sure you tell your friends. And again, thank you for your support. Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Josh with your sports updates. In the homecoming game against Liberty, as expected, Varsity dominated the game with 42-21, to doubling the score against the losing team. And then let's not forget JV who killed it with a score of 47-20 to against Heritage. And as for volleyball, the Varsity girls destroyed Lone Star with 3-1 sets. However, on the same day against Lone Star, Junior Varsity lost with a close game of 1-2 sets. Unfortunately, on October 10, Varsity lost with a score of 8-11 against Independence. And against the same school for JV, they barely lost with a score of 9-10. to 10. 
That's it for today, guys. Now back to you. That's all for this week, Titans. Be sure to check us out at our website at www.centennews.com and follow us on Twitter at Centennews. Have a great weekend, Titans.